What am I doing? I'm sitting here on shaking not stirred. What does shaking not stir me? What the heck is going on? Why am I here? I have fun like this. Yeah, this is fly right here. From the Rio All Suite Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, it's Shaken Not Stirred, a celebrity toast. I love Vegas. I'm glad we're doing the show here. Yeah, Vegas is nice. Everything's legal. Like you can have a hooker, you can drink, you can gamble, but you can't give a homeless person five dollars. You can't. Yeah. I like this whole show. It's a good idea. This, this whole thing here, working. Is this a show you get the dream? Right. You can wear a suit without <laughs> having right. to go to court. I want to ask you and talk about things that really um, everyone wants to talk about. Y your breast implants. Oh, Jesus. I don't know one cat that hasn't been in trouble, but when you do it, it also... It, like, it's all, with all it's, of it's the worst. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's I a, think it's the name, Bobby Brown. It's just, well, Charlie Brown never got in that kind of trouble. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were you thinking? <laughs> Is that Neil <Mel> Carter? <laughs> <laughs> you wrong, oh, you gonna go uh, to hell. That's a dog thing to do. <laughs> well, but you, you had them in, then you, you took them out. When I got divorced, yeah, and yeah. cut my hair. Was that part of the settlement? Yeah. Tommy said, yeah, I want the yeah, titties. Yeah, <laughs> well, how can we get a rapper who's become a reverend who sits in a pink tub <laughs> and gives words of wisdom to the black folks and expect that to sell? You know what's funny? That's just how they sound. And that's, and that's, <laughs> yeah. Coco's real like me. You know, we, we try to keep it honest. And anything I say, I got to be willing to say in front of her. A lot of cats got two lives. In front of their boys, they talk one language. They get around their woman. It's a whole nother You know what's so funny? It's true because my son the other day came to me and said, Daddy, 19 years old, he said, I don't believe in monogamy. I said, son, now, your daddy don't either, but your mama right here. <laughs> if I had a half hour to live, I'd go to the dearest church and preach. I'm at my natural rhythm preaching. Can I ask you something honestly? Yeah. You had a half hour to live. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody want to have sex. I'm telling you. Uh, uh, a nun could be jumping up in the plane going, somebody fuck me quick. That's, oh, that's, uh, that's wrong. That's why I need to preach. <laughs> I like this show, because to me, this show is kind of like ghetto meet the press. My 35th birthday at my house. At your house. Bobby Brown pulls up in a Bentley, opens the front door of my house, <laughs> and the first thing he says, where's this motherfucker's bathroom? Because I'm about to take a shit in his house. <laughs> Now, now that happens. <laughs> I believe I speak for all the men out here when I go, God damn. You know what I'm saying? You're very easy on the eyes. Right. I'm easy. I'm <laughs> you are a white woman I would bring to an NAACP rally. God damn. But right? <laughs> well, you can take something like no shoelaces right. and make it hip. Right. See, I found, I found that interesting. For me, it was just cool. You see a dude come home from jail. He's got on Adidas. He has the strings around his neck. And I didn't know it was because he might have hung himself. They don't let you have strings in jail. Right. Right. We just thought it was cool. And we was able to take the beat from the street and put it on TV. Let's talk about people. Pimping. Pimping, man. Let's go. <laughs> we did much, much more diabolical things with girls than actually sending them to have sex. You know? So, we, I mean, we, we had what we call thoroughbreds. Girls that would go up and rob jewelry stores and do all kinds of things of that nature. I rolled with some really devious chicks in my day. So, yeah, you know, there's been some pimping in the game. You gotta understand. You gotta, you know, they say those who say don't know and those who know don't say. So, I'm gonna keep it that short. Wow. You guys are awesome. You're like the Rat Pack, but black and right. Mexican. Well, you know, you have the body that's wrecked more homes than Katrina. <laughs> black and Latin men die of, like, a prostate cancer at a 60% higher rate than everybody else. And not because we're predisposed, because we won't take the, You know, brothers, I ain't let nobody put their finger in my ass. Right. Which is unusual, because the world got their foot in our ass. <laughs> you know what? No. It hurt so bad, I went home and apologized to my wife. I'm like, it's some stuff I'm never going to ask you to do again. <laughs> No, no, you don't. No wonder you hate my birthday so much. <laughs> Has anybody ever wrestled a midget? What? I, I used to date. I used to date a midget woman. I was nuts over her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>